A Manhattan grand jury has indicted former President Donald Trump. This makes him the first former president in American history to face criminal charges. Madeline Rivera has more from New York. This extraordinary story of the first former president to be indicted will likely reach a peak next week when Donald Trump is expected to be treated like anyone else charged with a crime. Trump Force One sitting on a Florida tarmac for now, but expected to fly the former president to New York next week to surrender. So I'm here as an American and I support our democracy. Hours after word of Donald Trump's indictment emerged, supporters gathered outside his Mar-a-Lago estate. On Thursday, he became the first former president in U.S. history to face criminal charges. While the exact charges remain under seal, the investigation centered around hush money payments made to porn star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election. The announcement coming as a surprise to Trump's attorneys, who say he is ready to fight. Everything they've done here is to gain attention. We now heard 34 counts. I guarantee it's going to be 34 counts when we find out next week. In a statement, Mr. Trump maintained his innocence, calling the case, quote, political per persecution and election interference at the highest level in history. When he arrives in New York for his arraignment, the Secret Service will escort him as he's fingerprinted and photographed for a mugshot. He will then appear before a judge and is expected to plead not guilty before being released on his own recognizance. Manhattan criminal cases typically take more than a year to go to trial. It could be that every transaction is a separate count. It's also possible that they are going to allege other crimes like bank fraud or tax fraud. NYPD officers are being ordered to be dressed in full uniform and ready to deploy as soon as they're called. In New York, Madeleine Rivera, Fox News.